Welcome to The Coaching Table. I'm Thomas Thompson, Executive Leadership Coach and Consultant with Lead Self, Lead Others. And The Coaching Table is a weekly conversation I've created to help leaders like you have the conversations that you're not having so we can keep your story moving forward. Today's part two uh, of a conversation I'm calling Finding God's Direction. And last week, uh, we started with part one, which you can scroll down and click if you want to catch up. We started with part one in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, that says this, Trust the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. And last week, we talked a little bit about how it's just amazing that God wants to direct the paths of the people He leads. God wants to lead your path. He wants to do it. But there, last week we focused on that phrase, but this week I want to focus on a curious part of this uh, verse, and it's this. Lean not on your own understanding. What does that mean? It, do you think God is saying that we shouldn't draw upon the, the experiences and the, the knowledge and the life lessons that we've accumulated in life when we're trying to find direction? I don't think so. I think really what he, the writer is getting at here is this. Don't allow the sphere of your understanding to limit trusting that God is leading you. Don't allow this sphere. That, that God can operate outside of this sphere of our understanding. But if we're in here and we're leaning on this and we just can't see it, we can get stuck. Great example of this is one of my favorite leaders, Moses. Uh, one day God comes to him, if you remember the story, and he's standing in front of this, this bush that is burning but not being consumed, and he couldn't even understand that, and God is speaking to him, and God says to him, Moses, you and I are going to go do something great today. Uh, we're going to start this new adventure, and it's unlike anything you've ever done. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to use you to help deliver my people out of bondage. And Moses was limited by his understanding. He couldn't see it. He looked out at this thing God was leading him to, and he thought, I don't have the ability. I can't speak well in front of people. I can't lead that kind of people. There's no way I could do this. And he was stuck right there, being limited, because he couldn't see beyond his own understanding of the situation. I see this happen a lot with clients I work with that are considering some kind of transition, maybe in their life or their career. Their understanding of their abilities or their gifts or, or how God might stretch and take them somewhere is, is caught and stuck here. So maybe they're sensing some kind of pull or tug towards a, a transition here, but then they go, I just don't know how it would work. How, how, how could I do that thing without this kind of training? Or how could I uh, uh, find someone who's going to pay me <laughs> to do this kind of thing? And, and, and they're, they're limiting what God can do in their life, and God can do so much more. Lean not on your own understanding means don't let your understanding limit your trust in how God can lead you. So how do we avoid that? How do we lean not on our own understanding? Well, if the problem is that we're letting our understanding limit us, then the solution is we've got to access understanding beyond ourselves. We have to look outside ourselves for that. How do we do that? Let me throw out three quick thoughts. Number one, God's word. God's word itself, as we read it and understand it, like the story of Moses there, it, it begins to remind us that beyond our own ability to puzzle things out, God is powerful, he is at work, and he can accomplish so much more than we ask or imagine. Reading God's word. Number two, talking with God's people. Who are those people in your life that love you and love God and can help you have the conversations that you're not having. That you can begin to gain their understanding and insight from what God has been do doing in their lives. We need to have those conversations. And then number three, God himself. Going to God and saying, God, I, this is what I can see. This is my sphere of understanding. I can't see beyond it. I need your help. I am trusting you by asking for your help to open my eyes to see things that I have not been able to see, to see where you might be taking me that might be beyond anything I've ever understood before. God wants to direct your path. Don't be limited by your own understanding of what you can see. So here's your coaching table question for this week. Where 
Are you letting your understanding limit your trust in where God could take you? I'd love for you to puzzle on that this week and and talk with God about it, talk with others about it. If you want to scroll down and click my email and talk with me about that, I'd love to get in that conversation with you. I'll be back next week with another conversation about finding God's direction. And until then, you're always welcome at the coaching table.